volleyball has been growing in popularity lately. If you can get guys like our own John Gabrielson to call the play-by-play -play of a game, that's saying something. Lovell versus Bighorn in the 2A state championship match. First game, Bighorn on the far side of the net. It did not matter if Jalen Mirich's kill was in or out because the opposition touched the ball last. That's how it goes sometimes, and the Lady Rams lead 8-7. to seven. They were leading an early charge. Nice setup for Hannah Puckett, and her kill will get knocked out of bounds. As long as her team gets a point, it does not matter how. Her team is up 11-7. to seven. But Lovell would come back. Here's Emily Reese jumping up and swinging her fist, and the ball is in. It's a point for Lady Bulldogs, and they're only down 14-13. Bighorn had a few tricks up their sleeve, like this one from Shelby Mann. Who says you have to hit the ball three times before you knock it over the net? The score is 16-14. Then the Lady Bulldogs started to find a weakness in the opposition's backcourt, and that's what Chelsea Ellis had in mind on this point. It got the job done, and her team's only down one. It's 16-15. The Lady Rams went back to their bag of tricks. If you can't go through the defense up front, go around them. Man proves my point and gets the ball to drop. This game is tied at 17. But Lovell would eventually pull ahead. Reach with the kill and that ball was dug up. So the sophomore would kill it again and it worked the second time. The Lady Bulldogs win the first match 25 to 17. On to game two, Bighorn on the left. Puckett puts enough on this swing that the ball bounces off of the defender and onto the floor for a point. We're tied early on at five. But Lady Bulldogs would start to growl on this play. Here's Ellis laying the smack down hard on this ball. Too much on the return for the opposition. So Ellis and her teammates get the point and they lead six to five. This game was turning into quite the slugfest early on. You could hear the swan and Mirich's kill from all the way upstairs by where we were. That's a good point. Her team trails eight to seven. Okay, sometimes the hard kill was not always needed. Mirich with a softer approach this time, and the new strategy worked. The Lady Rams will take a 9-8 advantage at this point. Later in the game, let's get someone new in here. This is Taylor Von Krasik. She'll apply a simple shove for her highlight, and that got her team a much-needed point because they're down 21-17. Lovell would then bring in the defense. Reich, along with Mercedes Haney, form a two-person wall and reject the ball. That's teamwork. Their team's in decent shape of 23-17. The opposition could do that as well, although Von Krosik was a one-woman defender. That's not getting by her. The Lady Rams still trail 23-19. The Lady Bulldogs would play dangerously at times. Haney was right on the line with that one, but the block goes out of bounds for a point, and her team would win 25-19 to take a two-games-to-none lead in the match. Game three, Bighorn on the near side. Gracie Goldhammer, one of only two seniors on this team, serving up an ace in the Lovell's face. Her team would take a 4-3 to three advantage. As for Lovell, they came in as a three seed in the West, and they got hot at the right time. Ellis is one of six seniors on this team. They are last year's runner-ups, and this time they were hoping to finish the job, but they're down 7-5. to five. And the opposition just had a hard time stopping Ellis. When she knocks the ball down, she knocks it down with authority. No worries, even though her team still trails 8-7. to seven. Moving on, more defense this time. Madison Baxadale has her hands up because she's sure that she'll get the block and the point and the lead. The scoreboard now reads 16-13 for the Lady Bulldogs. You know what they say, defense wins championships. Here's another stuff. This one is courtesy of Ellis, and Lovell had the momentum, and they could sense the end up 18-14. We've changed camera angles, and we're now on the other side of the court. They set it up for Reese, and she's going to knock it down in one swing. That had to feel good. And even better now that the score is 22 to 18. Of course, you don't always have to be tall to play this game. Let's get Lauren Hinckley into these highlights. She knew where to hit the ball and she'll deliver. Her team is now one point away from victory, up 24 to 19. Match point and the Lady Bulldogs did not waste much time on this play. Reach is gonna bring the hammer down for the final time and that took care of that. Lovell sweeps their way to the 2A championship, winning 25-17, 25-19, and 25-21, it's only their second state championship in school history. The last one happened back in 1997.